Hey guys, it's me Greg and today we're going to talk to you about why I believe every man, woman and probably every teenager should carry a pocket knife with them. You know, when I was a kid, you know, you got your first knife when you're six or seven years old and some of us got a hand-me-down knife and that was great because it always came with a story like how your father was in the Pacific Islands and wrestled a bear and you know, killed it and cut the bear in half and gave half to the Japanese troops and half to his troops and all of a sudden there was peace. You know, and you believed it because you were seven years old. And some kids were fortunate enough to get a new knife. But in any event, you know, we don't do that anymore. We don't teach our kids about knives. We don't give them knives or whatever because we're all worried about little Johnny cutting himself. Anyways, getting back to this knife, why I think people should carry a knife. Before I get into that, I'm going to tell you what it is. This is called a TAC Force, T A C F O R C E, uh, line of knives. It's made by Master Cutlery. I bought this knife at Herb Phillipson's here in uh, New York. It's a big chain store. If you don't have one, you can just get online and look for the TAC Force model TF. That's Tom Fool TF 434. And you'll find them online. They sell them everywhere because Master Cutlery is one of the largest knife manufacturers here in, in America. They're all designed here. I think they have a couple plants. And I believe this particular knife is handmade in China. But, you know, it is what it is. So, <clears throat> other than needing knives, you know, for doing things that work, um, you know, cutting paper, breaking down cardboard, cutting strings, uh, cleaning your fingernails, whatever the case may be. I'm always at work and people ask me to borrow my knife because I can't find scissors. People carry knives for other reasons. And two of the bigger ones is, is some kind of survival and some kind of personal protection. Now when I'm talking about survival, I'm not talking about, hey, let's go in the woods and all of a sudden Armageddon's happening and you know, you're stuck in the woods for nine years. I'm talking about, you know, you're driving in your car and something happens you know, and you get stuck and you need to get out. So you got to, you know, cut the blade or you're, you're trapped in a room or something happens and you want to jimmy the lock open or some kind of thing like that. You know, you're just a tool to make your job a little bit easier. You know, personal protection, you know, that's another issue. That's, you know, women should always have a pocket knife with them. You know, whether they choose to pull it out, if somebody was attacking them and use it, only they can make that decision. You know, if they don't know how to use a knife, they should go to a, a course and learn how to use one. But I got to tell you, if I'm being attacked by somebody that has a knife or whatever, I'm yanking it out. And somebody's, you know, going to get cut up. And at least if something bad did happen and they, you know, they overcame me and took my knife away from me, which could happen. At least there would be a bunch of DNA and pieces of that person left around where the police could uh, pick it up and do tests later and find out who it is. But, you know... That's drastic stuff. We're just going to talk day-to-day -day stuff of why I think you should have this knife. So I'm going to show you a couple features of this knife. This is a folding pocket knife, and it has about a 3-inch to a 3.5-inch blade. I didn't actually measure it, so let me back out of here a little bit. <clears throat> the first thing you're going to notice on this knife is it has a little belt clip. The belt clip is nice, so when you put it in your pocket, you know, if this were your pocket like this and you're putting your knife in it the belt clip would be to the outside of your pants and that would hold the knife inside your pocket but towards the outside so when you put your hand in your pocket you can get all your junk and don't have to pull everything out that's a very nice little feature for a pocket knife you know especially one cheap like this another feature of this knife <coughs> is that it has a locking blade and what a locking blade is as you see how I open that it won't move now to undo the locking blade you have a little bar here you press it like this to the side and the blade will now close just make sure your fingers aren't there Okay. now I just showed you how to open the knife a traditional way if you notice little, this little piece sticking out here that's a quick open so if you're going to hold the knife like that you can just run your finger like that and open it real quick it's locked in place close it again show you that again just run your finger down and you're off to the races like I said, this has about a three inch blade. It is a stainless steel blade. That means it's going to be a little sharper, or excuse me, a little harder than most blades, but it also means it's going to be harder to sharpen. And I will tell you right now that you hear people say, you know, a dull knife is good because, you know, if you have to come somebody with it that's attacking you, you know, it's jagged and that's better. That's, that's bunk, okay? 
a good knife is a sharp knife and this knife comes out of the box razor sharp so be careful with it when I say razor sharp it'll cut the hair right off your arms right out of the box but as time goes on you're gonna have to sharpen this knife so always keep your knife clean wipe it down if it gets oil dirt whatnot in it you know clean it up and then every once in a while get a nice little sharpener and just hone it and sharpen it lightly and keep it sharp keep the dirt out of the joints and things this has a nice solid joint in here it doesn't flex around you know I don't normally recommend prying things with a knife but you know soft items some wood or cardboard or something you want to pry something open you know get a box open something like that great I wouldn't stick it in the ground and you know but you might be able to like get it in a door and Jimmy open the lock or something if, if you had to you know it would work with that you might bust the tip off but it would get you out of a locked door or into a locked room or something and this knife also has some nice handles on it um, these handles it's an all steel body but I believe these handles are anodized aluminum they're really put on these skins here well so that's going to keep the finish of the knife they have several different screws and rivets and whatnot holding them securely in place so that's a good feature but the extra kind of added bonus on this knife let me show you how to push this over and then shut your knife the extra feature on this knife which is kind of uncommon for a lot of pocket knives in general but also for one of, that's going to at this price point is it has two things for your car uh, I'm a PPG flyer and a skydiver if I was out in the you know skydiving and I landed in my in the woods and top of the trees or my PPG in water or in the trees and I was dangling there or trapped in the water I can take this you know little hook knife here and cut those lines without even opening the knife and endangering myself further that's a real good thing actually what that's made for if you're in your car same thing you're in the water let's be realistic most of us don't drive in the lake but you can get an accident and your doors can be wedged and something could happen to your seat belts and you want to get out fast that's what that's for it will cut your seat belt really quickly so we don't use this except for an emergency because there's you really can't sharpen it leave that thing razor sharp in there so if you need it to cut your seat belt it's ready the next feature on this knife is this little tip right here this tip I don't know if you can see it is ground down to a point and what that's for is if you take you know your knife in your hand like this and you whack your windshield real quick it'll shatter that that windshield um, or window driver's side window or passenger side so you know even if you hardly ever get in an accident you might come upon somebody in an accident you know, and if you see a car smoking a little bit or you see somebody's desperately trying to get out of their car and they can't you can cut the seat belt for them and you can bust the window open you know so that's a great little extra couple features on a pocket knife of this size so once again I just think you know everybody should carry a pocket knife with them they come in handy there's just millions of reasons for them you should teach your kid how to use a knife and how to sharpen a knife you should learn how to sharpen a knife it's not that hard especially with some of the sharpeners they sell nowadays you know you don't have to sit there and grind on them for hours like you did in the past but the best part of this whole deal is the price check that out nine dollars and ninety nine cents for that knife you know you can't beat that with a stick and you know we couldn't even touch that when I was a kid so nine dollars and ninety nine cents you'll have yourself a nice little work knife a nice utility knife a knife that has some features that might get you out of a jam you know and it's well worth it so guys I appreciate you watching my videos you know if you really want to help me out you can go to YouTube and get a YouTube account you can sign up for free and once you have a YouTube account you can subscribe to my channel which means every time I do a review you'll get a little email and you can watch it or not but in addition to subscribing to my channel which really 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 helps me um, you can also like the video on YouTube which means you know it's, you can lock it and you can share it to your Facebook which is always nice because the more people to see it on Facebook or Pinterest or whatever you know that helps them look at it and subscribe to my channel uh, but you can also comment in the comment sections once you have a YouTube channel account so you know as we get going on these things you know sometimes I'll answer the questions sometimes other people that are subscribed will answer the questions um, you know it's a nice little thing to have and you don't have to worry about you know ever using YouTube again if you don't want to you can get the YouTube channel and never respond at all <laughs>
So anyways, I appreciate that you're all watching these videos and all the support you're giving me. And I hope that this video on this knife, you know, will help you get along in your decision to get a knife or to, you know, at least find one that's reasonable and has a lot of features. And you have a great day. Take care. Bye.